let's just see some few examples okay let's begin with just this one at the top here what i drew at the beginning let me redraw it let's say we have a a pin support here which means we have two reactions l y1 l x1 okay then we have also <coughs> sorry we have also another pane here which is let's say l y2 and this reaction force is called r x2 and we have a hinge right here so in this case what is r r becomes equal to four we have four reaction forces then we have three equations plus one conditional equation due to this hinge here okay at this hinge we can write one more equation so here n becomes equal to one so we have n plus n becomes equal to four so r becomes equal to 3 plus n r which is equal to 3 plus n okay so hence the structure is called is statically determinate okay let's look at another example let's say i have i have that a beam then i have a support here then i have another one here but let's say this is sliding this is a sliding support then i have two hinges here okay two hinges here then i have another sliding support here then at the end i have another sliding support okay so for this one what is r here we have two reactions r y1 then we also have r x1 for this i also have r y1 because the sliding i have just a vertical one vertical reaction force and also for this sorry the, let's change this to two and for this also this reaction this support i have r y3 and r y4 okay so for this structure here which is a beam i have one two three four five r which is the number of reaction forces becomes equal to five okay then we have three plus n what is n then n is the number of conditional equations because i know my moment here is equal to zero and also at this hinge my moment is equal to zero using these known moments equal to zero you can write equations at this hinge and at this hinge two extra equations so n becomes equal to two then we have three plus two equal to five so r becomes equal to three plus n which makes this structure statically determinate determinate sorry about this this has to be no r determinate sorry okay so let's try and find a statically indeterminate structure let's let's say we have a fixed end a beam connected to a fixed end a fixed support then we have a hinge here 
then it is connected to a pin support okay remember for for a fixed support there are three reaction forces which is ry1 and let's call this ry2 sorry let's say rx rx1 and there is also a moment m okay this is also a pin support which has two reactions ry2 and rx2 okay so from this we have r equal to 5 then let's check 3 plus n okay 3 is the number of equilibrium equations which we know does not change is 3 and also n here because of this single hinge here n n becomes equal to 1 so if n is equal to 1 we have if n equal to 1 this becomes equal to 4 so r is bigger than 3 plus n so this is statically indeterminate okay okay let's look at an unstable structure let's try finding an unstable structure okay let's see that we have that then we have a hinge here then we have that we have also then we have a pin support here and at this end we have a slide in support um, okay so for this what is r we know this has let me change the color r y one and let's say this is r y two r x two okay for this r becomes equal to three what is three plus one what is three plus n sorry n is equal to one so this becomes four r becomes smaller than three plus m so your structure is statically unstable okay i hope you get it you are, you are following <laughs> okay so let's try something different not a straight member let's try an arch okay so let's go with an arch here then we have a hinge then we the arch continues there okay so here we have a pin support here okay it comes down here we have also a pin support here okay with this arch we have one two one two we have three reaction forces so our sorry we have four reaction forces sorry i miscounted it pardon me <laughs> four reaction forces and we have n equal to 1 so 3 plus n becomes equal to 4 r then becomes equal to 3 plus n so this is statically determinate okay okay let's see if we okay so let's see another one a last example maybe um let's try this then we have that we have 
a sliding support here then we have another hinge then we have another sliding support there then at this end we have a fixed support so in total we have one two three four r becomes equal to four n becomes equal to two so um three plus n now becomes equal to five so r being less than 3 plus n tells us that this structure is statically unstable statically unstable for external loads let's make a quick summary on what we've discussed so far we wanted to find out whether a structure is statically determinate indeterminate or unstable okay we figured out that when r is equal to the number of equations, it's called a statically determinate structure. When r becomes bigger than 3, where r is the number of reaction forces, it's statically indeterminate structure. When r is less than 3, your structure becomes unstable. Okay, But all these conditions are externally. So you say externally statically determinate, externally statically indeterminate structure, externally statically unstable structure. Okay, so in the cases where there are hinges, there's, there are hinges, um, R, when R is less than 3 plus N, where N is the number of conditional equations. Once again, conditional equations are um, when you can find an, ex an extra equation based on, um, let's say you have a hinge and you know the condition at this hinge is moment is equal to zero. So based on this condition, you can write an extra, condi an extra equation, which is, let's say, if this hinge is g you can write an extra equation which is sum of moment at g equal to zero so with that your number of your number of equations changes okay based on that there are three conditions if r is less than three plus n is statically unstable if r is equal to 3 plus n your structure is statically determinate when r is greater than 3 plus n you have statically indeterminate structure so we went through some examples and i hope this really helped thank you for watching and any comments will be appreciated this is my first youtube video so if you have any criticisms and any suggestions please comment below and don't forget to subscribe thank you bye